Welcome to this quick guide where I'm going to show you how to fix the Microsoft Store on Windows 10 and Windows 11 for good. And if you get any value out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. But to get started with the guide, if you have any issues with the Microsoft Store on Windows 10 or Windows 11, I'm going to take you through a step by step guide where we're going to uninstall the Microsoft Store from the system and then reinstall it to fix any issues that you might be having with it. Now, just a quick overview before we start with the guide. I'm going to take you through a five step process on how we're going to do that and how we're going to fix the Microsoft Store. And I'll leave the links to everything that I use in this video in my written guide. And you can find a link to my written guide in the description of this video. But to get started with fixing the Microsoft Store, the first thing that we need to do is we need to download and install the Wingate UI. Now, you'll just need to open up your browser of choice and then you need to go to this web page which is the Wingate UI webpage. Now, if you don't know what the Wingate UI is, it's basically a better UI for your package managers. And package managers are tools that helps you install apps on your system. And the most common ones are Wingate, Scoop, Chocolatey, Pip, NPM, and the .NET tool. The Wingate UI gives you a graphical user interface for all of those tools. And it's made by this guy called Marty Clement. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But this just makes it a whole lot easier to use Wingate and all of these other package managers because if we didn't have this app we'd need to use a tool like powershell or other command line interfaces and it just gets complicated for the everyday person to install apps using this so we're going to use Wingate ui which again you can get from this web page and i'll have a link to this in my written guide that you can find a link to in the description of this video. But once you're on this web page, you can find this download Wingate UI button here, and you can click on that to start the download. Once the download is finished, you can just click on open file so you can run the Wingate UI installer. You can select a different language. I'll just leave it on English and then click on OK. Then click on next, click on next again, and then you can either choose between a portable or a regular installation. I'll just leave it on the defaults and then click on next and then click on install. And it's then going to install the Wingate UI on my system. And once it's finished, just make sure that this box is checked to launch the Wingate UI and then click on finish. It's then going to launch Wingate UI on your system. And this is what you should be seeing next. Now, the Wingate UI lets you install apps without the Microsoft Store. But the point of this guide is to get our Microsoft Store working again. Now, before we continue, you're following this guide on your own risk. I've tested this multiple times and it's worked for me multiple times. But due to the nature of computers, there's a lot of different things that can go wrong. And you're doing this completely at your own risk. But once you have the Wingate UI open, you need to click on the Installed Packages tab up here. And then this is going to show you all of the software that you have installed on your system. Now you need to do a search firstly for the Microsoft Store. And you should then find a Microsoft Store result there because you should have the Microsoft Store installed on your system. If you already don't have it installed for some reason, you can just skip this step. But I need to uninstall it first. So I'll select this checkbox here, then right click on it and click on uninstall as administrator. I'll click on that and then click on yes. And down here, you'll see that the Microsoft Store has now been uninstalled successfully. Next, you need to do a search still while you're in the installed packages tab for Xbox. And you should find an Xbox app here on your system. And we also need to uninstall the Xbox app from our system because we need to use the Xbox app to reinstall the Microsoft Store and any app dependencies that the Xbox app for Windows might have. So find the Xbox app in your list of installed packages, right click on it and click on uninstall as administrator, then click on yes. And it's also going to uninstall the Xbox app from your system. As you can see, it's been uninstalled successfully. Now, once you've done that, you can go back to the discover packages tab so we can search for packages. Now, before we continue, just let me show you if I do a search on my PC for the Microsoft Store. It's not on my computer anymore. I don't have the Microsoft Store installed. And if I do a search for Xbox, I don't have the Xbox app installed on my system anymore because I use the Wingate UI to uninstall it. So go back to the Wingate UI and then click on Discover Packages. And then we need to search for packages. Now, if we do a search for the Microsoft Store here, 
you'll see there are no results for the Microsoft Store app that we just uninstalled to reinstall it. There is no Microsoft Store app available here because you can't reinstall the Microsoft Store app using this app. You have to use the Xbox app to reinstall it. So you need to do a search for the Xbox app and then scroll down on this list until you find the app that just says Xbox. And to verify that you have the correct one, you can check that you also have this package ID and that the source you're installing it from is the MS Store, which is the Microsoft Store. Now, although we don't have the Microsoft Store installed currently on the system, we'll still be able to install this Xbox app. And all we need to do is we just need to select this checkbox here, then click on Install Selected Packages. It's going to run the Xbox installer and you can see the status of it down here. When it's finished, you'll see that the Xbox app was installed successfully. Now, at this point, you can exit out of the Wingate UI and I'm just going to minimize the browser as well. If I now do a search on my system for Xbox, I have the Xbox app installed again. So I can click on Xbox to launch the Xbox app on my system and it's then going to launch it. Now here I have two options. I can either browse the catalog or I can click on already a member sign in. I'll just click on browse the catalog. But if you don't see this option, you'll just need to sign in with a Microsoft account. But I'm going to click on browse the catalog. And then once I have the Xbox app open on the system, you can see here it says there are some missing components for the Xbox app. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to click on the profile and settings icon up here on the left. Then you need to click on settings. Then you need to click on general. Here you're going to see a bunch of dependencies that are missing on your computer. And one of them is going to be the Microsoft Store. So to reinstall the Microsoft Store, click on install. It's going to start downloading and installing the Microsoft Store. And it's then just going to disappear from this list. As you'll see, it's completely disappeared now. Now, if I go and do a search on my PC for the Microsoft Store, you can see that I have the Microsoft Store app again. If I click on that to open it, it's going to open the Microsoft Store. And hopefully for you, if you had any issues with the Microsoft Store before this, those issues will be resolved and you can then go ahead and use the Microsoft Store app on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC again. Just as an example to show you that it is working, I'm just going to go ahead and install iTunes via the Microsoft Store and I'll just click on Get and it's then going to start downloading and installing iTunes. So my Microsoft Store is working again after uninstalling and reinstalling it. And if you go back to the Xbox app, you can see that there is a bunch of other missing dependencies. Now, you don't need to install this for the Microsoft Store to work. But if you're planning on using the Xbox app on your system, I recommend that you go ahead and you click on install for all of these dependencies. So it can go ahead and install all of the needed dependencies for the Xbox app to run. And basically, these things can also help your Windows run a bit smoother if you're going to use a lot of the built in Windows apps on your computer. Now, if you click on your system tray, you'll find the Wingate UI icon here. And it's up to you if you want to leave the Wingate UI installed on your system or not. You can also use it to update the apps on your system. If you click on the software updates tab here in the middle, you can use it to basically update all of your apps by clicking on update selected packages. And it's a great way to keep all of the software on your system up to date. But if you don't plan on using the Wingate UI again, you can just go ahead and uninstall it from your system. And you can do that by doing a search for the control panel and then just opening the control panel app, changing this view by setting to small or large icons and then clicking on programs and features. And on this list of software, you can just scroll down until you find the Wingate UI. Then you can click on uninstall. You can click on yes. It's going to uninstall the Wingate UI from your system. And you'll still have the Xbox app and the Microsoft Store. And hopefully any issues you might have had with the Microsoft Store on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC will now be a thing of the past. And I hope this guide's been useful. Please like the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.